All right, welcome back to all my honors students. Hopefully, if you're watching this video, you read Black Hawk Down. This option that I'm about to show you is only an option if you read Black Hawk Down because Black Hawk Down was the uh, nonfiction choice. And sometimes it's hard to do one of those plot diagram options with nonfiction, especially with this story that is um, kind of overwhelming with facts and figures and names. So um, without further ado, um, this project, you can use a piece of computer paper. You can use, um, if you have an art sketch pad, if you have the kind of long artistic uh, drawing paper, anything like that, okay? Again, I'm not looking for you to um, reinvent the wheel here, okay? Anything that you have readily available, okay? So, okay, so whatever you have readily available, um, it, like I said, it can be a sketch pad, it can be a sheet of construction paper, anything you have, okay? What you're gonna do is, you're going to have an image that represents your story. Hey, I chose the helicopter. Just how creative I can be. <laughs> or you can use the title of the book. You can use Black Hawk Down. Um, that works also, just put it in the middle, okay? And then, you see how we've got a lot of sections just around the paper? They're all just kind of cattywampus, uh, whatever shape, whatever size. It's fine, okay, but you see I've got several. So I want you guys to do that, and then hopefully when you're finished, you'll have several empty sections. Hopefully when you're finished, you'll have at least, hopefully when you're done, you'll have at least 15 sections. If you have more, great. Hopefully you have at least 15 though, okay? So what I'm wanting you to do is fill this paper with facts and figures from your story. Being that you have nonfiction, so I'm wanting you to fill this page with facts and figures from your story, okay? But here's the catch. If all of the, if you've got four or five facts that come from the first part of that story, have those next to each other, okay? Then in the second part, if you have another four or five facts and figures from the second part of the story, have those all next to each other, okay? And do that for the third, fourth, and so on until you're done with the book. So when you're finished and you have all of your facts and all of your figures from the story in here, and this can be anything. The book was written uh, on this date. Uh, it was written by this person. Those are all facts, okay? When you're finished, I want you to color coordinate this, okay? So when you're finished, I'm hoping um, if you have everything close together, such like this, if these three sections here from the first part of the story, I want all three of these sections to be the same color, okay? You can use a marker, you can use crayons, colored pencils, um, depending on what paper you choose to use. If you wanna try to use like a watercolor or a pastel, that's fine too, as long as I can still read the text that you write, okay? So the first section of the book needs to be one color. The next section of the book needs to be another color. Again, you can have the first section up here and the second section down here. That's okay, as long as you have it all colored the same. Okay, so color one for the first part of the book, second color for the second part of the book, third color for the third part of the book, and so on. Okay, try to have them close together to make it easier for you to keep track of which facts came from which section. Okay, so this is just very much a presentation of the facts and figures from your story. Okay, if you have any questions or need any help getting um, things situated on the paper, please shoot me an email, um, give me a call, stop in the classroom, and I will be happy to help you, okay?